What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Track and Ace. Let's talk about this 800, man. Uh, I haven't covered the 800 in the heats, but uh, you know it, it, it's going to be uh, very interesting, man. This 800 meter final will be very interesting on Sunday night. I believe the final is Sunday night, um, and it is going to be pretty damn good guys <laughs> it's going to be a pretty good damn final i think it's going to be one of the more intriguing ones in, in, in uh at least a few years here because keely hodgkinson and the thing oh they're ready to go against each other now shoot let's see who where should we start at i want to go through all three of the heats uh let's go through heat number one so uh let's talk about keely hodgkinson so keely hodgkinson had in, in both of them and keely hodgkinson had a very interesting semifinal here because it wasn't kind of like as easy for him okay like it wasn't as easy for either one of them so nia atkins who was the second favorite in this uh heat here had a very interesting uh finish to the race so kiwi hodgkinson pretty much maintained control throughout she had a really nice race through uh she did exactly what she needed to do got a um uh, time of a minute at 58 point uh 48 seconds uh to qualify easily qualify for the final the problem for keely was was that she had someone on her back that she didn't expect to have so keely wanted to slow down and just get through the race right but no nope, nia atkins actually surprised she came up past uh yorigo um and michelle and towards the end there she started to make some headway where she was really starting to challenge keely for her for first place she was right on her heel but really what happened was was that keely started to slow down it, it, like i feel like keely started to slow down like in the last 40 50 meters and what ended up happening was that neil was right on her back and neil forced keely to keep running fast uh she 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 really forced her to keep running bro and Nia gave Kiwi all she could handle in that one, man. That was one of the few times throughout Kiwi's career outside of like a theme all that I've seen somebody like in the last, I would say in the past year or so, really challenge Kiwi from behind like that. Like that was a real good challenge from Nia Atkins. That was that was pretty good. And the, the time was spectacular too. It was like .61 behind the 48 so like 13th of a second behind kiwi hawkerson and it was a new personal best for nia atkins so she had to run a new personal best if nia atkins wants to get on the podium which is very possible on sunday she's definitely gonna have to run for another personal best because i think the winner will probably be somewhere in the area of a minute 54 to about i think at tops 57 seconds it'll be somewhere between a minute 54 minute 57 some people are thinking it might go even faster than 54 and i don't see it i think the winner probably gets like a minute and 55 but some people are saying it could go a minute 53 i i'll be i'll be shocked if i see that but i do think kiwi and the thing are going to push each other at the top and they're going to go that fast but again for nia she's going to have to get another personal best that she wants to get on the podium let's look at heat number two heat number two had another interesting finish Gemma Riki of Great Britain. So the Brits, Hoskinson and Riki really did well. Now, this wasn't clear cut for Riki though. Riki was actually towards the end and she actually started to come on up and somehow still finished in the first. That was an amazing, that was an incredible race from Jenna Riki. <laughs> Gemma Riki, by the way. And uh, she, she had, I've seen her do that before. So it's not like she hasn't done it before. Coming from like towards the back of the pack and coming all the way up, that's how fast she is. And the, the, I'll tell you, this Scottish girl right here, man, she, <laughs> Jimmy Riki is, is something else, man. It's hard. Girls like her is really hard. Like if you're in the heat with her and you think you have the race one, it's really hard, man. Like Raven Rogers probably would have won if it wasn't for Jimmy Riki, obviously, because Raven Rogers came in second. And Raven Rogers, Raven Rogers is one of those veterans. She's always in the picture, right? She's always in the picture. So that was kind of the same case here. Just she was in the picture, bro. <laughs> she was in the picture, man. Uh, but Jimmy Riki, man, she just like um, Nia Atkins. I think she can probably get a spot on the podium as well for third place. 
Uh, she'll need to definitely run a personal best as well. Um, j th 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 there's not a, there's no doubt about it. Jim Enrique is probably gonna have to run a personal best in order to get on the podium. Um, I don't know if she'll get it, but she's definitely gonna have to run some kind of personal best because it's right now her personal best is I believe it's under a minute fifty seven seconds. I think it's like a minute fifty six. Um, trying not to look it up right now, but I know it came at the Olympics uh in twenty twenty one. But uh, when she was 23, so she can handle running under a minute 57. That's what it might take for her or anybody to really get on the podium uh, for third place. Because I'm telling you, like Hodgkinson and and the thing more, they're gonna push the pace, and so they're gonna have to do something about that. Lori Hoffman was one of my biggest disappointments in the 800. I thought she would do a little bit better. I really did thought I really did think Lori Hoffman was gonna do a little bit better in this. I thought she was gonna definitely run closer to i would say like a two minutes and maybe 40 seconds I, that's where i had her going uh so very disappointed to see the switch not really get uh up there enough so um you know we'll see what she does at the olympics next year now the third heat was very interesting so and anybody who's a theme o fan I know you had, dude, the announcers, uh, the, the U.S. announcers, uh, Bowden, Ross, were all holding their collective breath when she failed. So she failed in like the first 100 meters, right? And one of the things that they were saying was that, I think, this is why I think Mo usually runs out in front so she can avoid all of the the mess in the, inside of the, you know, the heat of the race. And she made that mistake and ran with the pack and ended up falling but what was great about this and this is probably one of the most incredible things you'll see if this happened in the final it would have been one of the more incredible races you would have ever seen in your life she fell it didn't lose any real ground she got right back up like nothing happened that is a g a theme or a g for that i got total respect for a theme more for doing that she got right back up like it was not nothing and still did enough to get an automatic qualifier spot and got in the second place. Now she, this is one of the rare losses that she had, but Mary Moore got it from Kenya uh, at a minute fifty eight point forty eight seconds. And it's sad because for me with the thing, I wanted to see how she was going to run here in the semifinal, and it looked like she was on pace to run for a minute, maybe fifty seven seconds. I think she was on pace to run that. Um, if you look at the um, the, the the summary here you look at all the times so in that heat as well Nakai and Tracy uh, got the last two qualifier spots um, so they got the last two qualifier spots in there but it's still amazing but it's very amazing how that went though man that was that was sick <laughs> that was sick bro that was sick I couldn't believe that. I could not believe that, bro. That was sick. And everybody who qualified in here had a faster time than the Heat number twos, Jim Enrique and Raven Rogers. That's crazy, right? That's just the cruelty of the Heats and how they go, especially on these world stages, man. You had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls who did not qualify who had faster times. The Jimmy Ricky and Raven Rogers. This is why the, the heat that you're in and any other distances, it matters, bro. It matters because, you know, and then for me personally, I see the both I, bo I see both of the Aussies would have made it if they were in heat number two. Um, I see that Abby Caldwell, Abby Caldwell, uh, would have made it. Uh the twenty two year old. I've been following her for a while. She would have made it in. And then uh, Katrona Bissett would have also made it in. The veteran, she would have made it in as well. So I'm a little bit sad to see that both of them didn't make it in based on the heat that they were in. But that's why you got to run. Hey, you got to hey, you got to run sometimes, but, you know, based on what the heat has. But crazy stuff, man. Let's look forward to Sunday now. Uh, so now we got all the semifinals out of the way. Is like I said, you know, I've kind of done a preview here already. I've told you what times I think it's going to take. Who do I think will win? You know, I 
The Kiwi Hodgkinson reminds me of a film called Ball with Sydney McLaughlin. I think she's on another level. It wasn't sewn up that Sydney McLaughlin would have beat Femke Bowl this year in the 400 meter hurdles. Um, a thing mode. I think it's possible with Kiwi Hodgkinson. Even though I've seen her, you know, she's at a different gear and a level this year. It may take one more year for her to finally be a thing mode. I, I think that a thing mode is still slightly better than her. Um, so I am kind of expecting thing mode to be Kiwi again. But. I'm telling you, it could go either way. It, 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 this is the year. Not last year, I had them all winning like 100%. Like it was no, I didn't think it was a chance in hell. Kiwi had any chance of winning. Um, this year is a little different, bro. I, I, I really think it could go either way. But I'm, I'm picking a thing all just to stay on the safe side, just because she's done it before. It's a track record with it, and I think she came there to win. Um, and she's going to probably put on a personal best time. Uh, and it's going to take Keely Hawkins in doing the personal best time as well. She's, but I'm telling you, it could go either way. A theme mode must stay out in front though. Like she cannot be in the middle of the pack. Keely's got to stay away from the pack as well. Third place is wide open though. It could be Mary Moore. It could be Nia Atkins, uh, Nakai, Tracy. Uh, I'm, 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 Ricky and Rod Rogers will both run a lot faster probably on Sunday. So. They're going to be in that mix as well. Uh, trust me, I think they will be in the mix. Um, they really didn't push the pace. I think that's why their times were slower than the other girls in the other heats. They just didn't push the pace. But they are going to. They know they're going to have to push it a little harder just to get third and get that last spot on the podium. But when I bet, um, for those of you I don't know, I, I've been doing the sports betting stuff lately. I'm, I'm going to say this. If, you, if you're going to bet on this, and the way I'm going to bet, just put a bet on Keely Hodgkins head in the theme mode. Don't put it on anybody else. Just put it on theme mode and Keely Hodgkins. One of those two are going to win. Uh, I don't think we're going to see any surprises where Mora or Atkins, unless somebody falls like this is today. And I highly doubt that happens. That rarely happens. Unless somebody falls, man, I, I don't see them two not getting first place. So if you're a betting man, that's what you do. Well, let me hear y'all thoughts on this, man, in the comment section, man. I think it's going to be very interesting. Make sure y'all subscribe to Jacob the Analyst's channel. I can't wait to hear from y'all because I haven't done the 800 since. Um, probably since the Diamond League, man. The Kiwi Hodgkinson had that amazing race. And uh, what was that, London or France? One of those two stops. Um, I think since then, man. Uh, but but amazing stuff here, man. I can't wait to see what's going to happen on Sunday. This is the one race. I'm going to tell y'all what. This is the one race I think all season that I could not wait to see. I don't know, just a one-two. This is the race. This is the race of the party of the whole worlds right here. Even more than the hundred meter battle that we had between Shelly Ann, Shikari, and Sharika. And that one was good. That one was good. But I think the one-two is Keeley versus Mo, bro. Because everybody knows that like Keeley is there now. So I still think she's like I said, I think she's another year off from catching Mo. But We'll see how it plays out, man. Because a lot, a lot of what we might see, we might see in the Olympics next year, man. So it's going to be quite interesting. We're going here to get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. Tracking Ace.